What is going on everyone? This is Marshmallow Lad and welcome today to a game called Keep Calm. We're gonna try to be calm today. We're gonna try to relax. We're gonna try to take it easy. Uh, this is a narrative uh, text driven game. Uh, seems like it might be pretty interesting. Basically things are going crazy, things are going haywire, and you have to make decisions to try to keep calm, I'm assuming, based on the title. I know things are going crazy. Uh, this Let's get into this. It has a five star review so far on itch and I that that's telling. That's telling me something uh, that this game is probably pretty freaking good. Let's check it out. Uh, let's go. If you guys aren't into like text driven games, like I don't think there's going to be any like art or anything. It's just going to be all text and all uh, narrative. If you're not into this, this might not be the game for you. But if you are, stick with me and let's dive on in. Keeping calm. I'm going to keep calm. Your alarm sounds like nails on a chalkboard. If nails on a chalkboard were a harpy with a megaphone. Uh, roll over and press the snooze, roll over and turn off the alarm, or scream at the top of your lungs. Uh, if this is me in the morning, I mean, if I'm doing exactly what I want to do, I'd probably scream. Um, but normally, I'll just roll over and uh, press the snooze button. If I'm too tired and don't really know what I'm doing, I actually will press the alarm, or I actually will turn the alarm off on accident, which is never a good thing. But I try to press the snooze. Uh, you sluggishly roll over and press the snooze button. The alarm turns silent, if only for nine minutes. <laughs> okay, let's snooze those nine minutes. Nine minutes pass, your alarm hits again. If nails on a chalkboard are like a harpy with a megaphone, hit snooze again. You gotta set the alarm early, so you have time for at least two or three snoozes. Alright, let's snooze one more time. Alright, now we're up. Uh, let's scream. This doesn't solve your problem. <laughs> Alright, the alarm is hit again. Let's roll over and turn off the alarm, Damn it! You turn off the alarm. Uh, lay in bed contemplating your existence. Turn over and sit on the side of the bed. Get out of bed. You lay in bed contemplating existence. Uh, go through Facebook, YouTube, everything. See what's new. I mean, who is God anyway? Who put him in charge, you think to yourself? And I just lay here thinking. You continue to lay in bed. Uh, let's turn over to the side uh, and sit on the side of the bed. I shouldn't have hit snooze. What day is it? It's Sunday. It's Thursday, is it? <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's Monday, is it? It's Saturday. It's ready, is it? Just get out of bed. You hop out of bed. <laughs> Alright, first thing you gotta do, you gotta go shower. That's that's like part of my wake-up routine. Uh, showering is like, okay, I'm awake, but when then after I shower, then I'm truly, like, coherent. Uh, you walk into the bathroom. Ugh, don't look in the mirror. It's gonna be a fucking mess. Just take off your clothes. You take off your clothes. Your pajamas fall to the floor. Don't look in the mirror. You're just gonna be disappointed. Let's get in the shower. Suddenly, you're sucked into a portal. <laughs> Keep calm. Or a fucking portal? Yeah, a fucking portal. What are you gonna do about it? You continue to fall. We gotta keep calm. Things are going awry. Things are going awry, we gotta keep calm. You remain calm and carry on falling through this portal. You appear to be falling through a tube of light. Not unlike the hyperspace from that documentary, Star Wars. <laughs> Is that actually a documentary? Maybe I'll have to check it out. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've never seen any of Star Wars. I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize for that. Uh, I don't know why, because I shouldn't be forced to watch anything that I don't want to watch. And it's not that I don't want to watch it, it's just a lot to watch. I don't have that much time. Um, okay, so I'm staying calm and carrying through this portal. Uh, should I contemplate my existence again? Let's try that. If I were the captain of the Millennium Falcon, would I wear a vest? <laughs> Fall some more. You appear to be falling through a tube of light. Okay, yada yada yada. Let's keep calm. Let's keep calm. Everything gets really bright all of a sudden. You next find yourself sitting at a desk across from a very business-like woman. Stare blankly at the woman. Demand to know who the woman is. Who the hell are you? She quietly removes her glasses and folds them onto the desk. I know this is confusing, but just stay calm. Okay. Uh, send me back home! A figure appears behind her with a shotgun. It's pointed right at you. Wait, what? It shoots you in the face! Keep calm, you die. The end. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we can get a different ending. I found an ending. Okay, so what we're gonna do is roll over. Wait, now I don't have the option to, uh, to scream when I wake up. Okay, just roll over and turn off the alarm. Um, wait. You turn off your irksome alarm, you're covered in sweat. Did you just get shot in the face? Oh god, make sure your face is still there. Your hands snap up to your face. Everything seems to be in order. Eyes, nose, mouth. Wait, nose? Yes, nose. Yeah, okay. It's all there. It was just a dream. Thankfully, your face is still intact and your heart is still beating. 
Okay, let's get dressed. Fuck the shower today. The, sh the shower is a portal into hell. Um, we, we can't do that. Open the dresser. You open the dresser drawer. Uh, put on clean work clothes. You put on work clothes. Over your pajamas for some reason. Now that you're dressed for work, you better head over there. Okay, let's go to work. You walk out of your apartment and lock the door behind you. With the image of the face-shooting woman burned into your mind as you walk down three flights of stairs. Oh, uh, let's go to our car. You head over to the parking lot beside your building. In your spot sits your car, your refuge, and your thinking space. You've affectionately named it Betty. That was the name of one of my cars, Betty. Aww. Uh, Betty chirps as you press the unlock key on your key fob. You slide into the driver's seat and close your door. You admire a trinket you've hung over the rearview mirror. Turn on the ignition, turn on the radio, get out of the car. <laughs> so either try to turn on the radio before you put the key in the ignition, so that's going to be a fruitless effort, uh, or just get out of the car, go back home, go to bed. Let's still start the car. Start the car. Betty roars and hums as her engine starts. Uh, let's go get our carpool pal, Larry, or go to the coffee shop. I think I need a coffee this morning. As you pull out of the parking lot, you hear a loud horn from your left. <laughs> Ignore the horn and keep driving, or slam your brakes. I have a feeling that ignoring the horn and keep driving is going to kill me. Against common sense and your better judgment, you ignore the horn and keep driving out of the driveway. The next thing you're aware of is a deafening boom as everything goes black. You manage to open your eyes, but you're dizzy and your vision is faded. Uh, get out of Betty. You try to reach for the door, but your arms aren't moving. You notice the door looks more like the front of a bus than a door. You can hear muffled voices. They seem so far away. Make a sound. You attempt to make a noise. Something resembling a sad giraffe sounds from your mouth. Make another sound. You make your sad giraffe sound a little louder this time. A blob resembling a person appears in your vision. Uh, focus on the blob. You attempt to focus on the blob as it makes muffled sounds at you. Reach out for the blob. You try to reach out for the blob, but your arms are difficult to move. Are you okay? Hey! Hey, help is coming, the blob says. Your vision begins to focus and the blob turns into a bus driver's uniform. It's a bus driver? It's a woman, the same woman from your dream. Hey, help us on the way. Just stay with me. Keep calm. Okay, be calm. Be calm. You listen to the woman. You try to stay with her. Your vision fades. Keep calm. You die. Fit. Okay. Is this a, is this a, uh, a loop again? No, I think we're back to the beginning because now I have the option to scream at the top of my lungs. Let's roll over and turn off the alarm. You reach for the alarm, but your arm catches on something. <gasps> uh, uh, pull whatever, pull against whatever you're caught on. It feels like something is wrapped around your wrists. What is going on? Look down at your wrists. Your wrists are bound by what looks like padded straps. <laughs> I'm insane! I'm insane! Try to break free, that's not gonna do anything for you. And screaming at the top of your lungs is only gonna get you strapped down tighter to whatever you're strapped to. Try to break free, I guess. You let out a scream that would fit well in a teen horror flick. You're actually a little impressed with yourself. You thrash and pull in a futile attempt to break loose from the straps. Try again. In a fit of screams and slams, you ha you try to break free again, but nothing happens. Try again, damn it! You scream until you're hoarse, and you pull against the restraints until your muscles hurt. A door opens and several people rush into the room. One is wearing a lab coat. Uh, lab coat? You take a moment to become aware of your surroundings. You notice the one in the lab, co lab coat has a stethoscope. The others who are holding your arms and legs look like nurses. I'm in a hospital? You say, although quietly, due to all the screaming. Your heart rate is really high, says Labcoat. We're gonna give you something to calm you down. You notice a woman standing in the doorway. She's trying to hold back tears. What's going on? Things start to feel wonky. The room is turning fuzzy. The woman. Is it the same woman again? She's the woman of your dreams. Just keep calm, baby, she says. Say something. You try to say something, but you feel weak. Keep calm. Everything goes black. You don't own a car. I don't have an apartment either. No, you live in a house with her. Who are you? Some days I'm your friend. And others? Well, other days I'm not quite as friendly. She is friendly though. Yes, she is. She always is. Where's the alarm? No alarm today? You slowly awaken. There's no alarm. Okay, let's uh, let's look down at our wrists. Am I strapped down? They're still bound by the straps. Your wrists are bruised by your feverish escape attempts. 
The woman of your dreams sleeps in the chair next to you, her hand resting next to yours on the bed. Uh, let her sleep. You've put in, you've put her through a lot. Uh, hold her hand. You reach over and take her hand. Enjoy the moment. That's your only option. You enjoy a peaceful moment. After a while, a doctor comes into your room. They say a whole lot of stuff about things you don't really understand. Something about sigh and sigh this and polar that. Whatever they call me, they give you a prescription and recommend some course of treatment. Uh, let's feel, let's, how do we want to feel about that? They're giving me a treatment. I should feel, I mean, I probably do feel tired. Um, I'm probably confused and angry. I can be, I can feel any of these right now, except happy, I guess. Um, but I mean, we just had a peaceful moment. Let's feel, uh, let's feel happy. You don't know how to feel. <laughs> you spend the rest of your day resting and talking with the woman of your dreams. You feel like yourself. It's been a while. The doctor says you can go home leave the hospital. You head home in a cab. Your muscles hurt, but you're happy to get home and fall into your bed. Sleep next to the woman of your dreams. In no time at all, you pass into a peaceful sleep. The alarm sounds like nails on a chalkboard. If nails on a chalkboard were a harpy with a megaphone. <sighs> Roll over and turn off the alarm. Before you can do anything, the woman of your dreams turns off the alarm. Good morning, she says with a smile on her face. You're still there in bed with her. Uh, good morning. You say back. How did you sleep, she asks. Uh, good. I slept okay. Uh, this isn't a dream, right? No, no. We gotta be calm. Be calm. You? I slept better now that you're home. She strokes your head and you both lay there for a moment. Come on, she says. Time to get up. Alright, let's get up. You both get out of bed. I'll make us some breakfast, says the woman of your dreams. You go freshen up. Okay, I'll go to the bathroom. You walk into the bathroom. Uh, look in the mirror. My god, I'm gorgeous, you think to yourself. <laughs> You admire yourself a moment. You feel good. And then you notice a medication with your name on it. You remember that the doctor in the hospital gave you strict instructions to take some sort of medication. Well, if the doctor told me to take it, let's be a sheep. Let's take it. You think it's supposed to get rid of me? You think it'll send me away? I, I, who are, wait, yes, go away. No, it's not that simple. It's not going to get rid of me for good. Only you can do that. But it'll weaken you. Yes, it will. It can help you fight me. Make me tolerable. I will fight you. That's the spirit. I must fight you. I will always be a part of you. We will always live together. But how we live together is up to you. Will it be your strength? Will I be your strength or your weakness? Take the medication. Good. You take the medication. You fight. Keep calm, you say to yourself. You leave the bathroom. The end? No friend. A beginning. And that was Keep Calm. Okay, so obviously it's like a story about someone that's... Uh, I had my headphones on the whole time. Like, I thought something might happen, but there was nothing. Um, it's a story about someone that's fighting with some kind of um, psychological disorder or something. And they're trying to uh, maybe get help. Um, and their wife or girlfriend or whoever the woman of their dreams is is, is very worried about them. And uh, it's, it looks like I when I took that car... That wasn't my car, because someone said later on that I don't own a car. I don't know. Did I steal a car and then just didn't pay attention, drove out on the road and got smashed? And I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it sounded like it was a struggle for me to, like, I'm having a lot of inner turmoil, like, arguing with myself, too. Uh, especially at the end of there. That was, that was interesting. Keep calm. That was a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be, like, some, like, funny, quirky thing where you had to, like, keep calm. There's actually, like, some meaning to that. Um... Let me know what you guys thought of that down in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I think my phone might have gone off a couple times. I thought I heard it, um, but these headphones make everything really quiet. But uh, So I apologize if my phone went off. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to try this game out for yourself, because I'm, there's a lot of choices and stuff that I didn't select that uh, you might want to play this and select yourself and see if it does anything different uh, in, ultimately in the end, there will be a link to this game down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.